Hello and welcome to this week's Oracle Coaching Reading with me, Ruth Richards, for week of 8th of November. And this week I'm using the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck to look for an Oracle message that can help us connect to our intuition and feel empowered this week. And it's the most amazing message and piece of synchronicity. It is empower yourself. Look at this beautiful image, image here. It's sailfish, although it looks like swordfish to me. But these fish are kind of bright, they're in the ocean, they've got these long swords. It's about being direct. So that's what that kind of nose, that sword represents. It's about being direct this week and the message on the card is empower yourself. Tune into your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. Hurrah to that. I'm all about empowerment and that's why I do oracle readings. That's why I use oracle cards to stay connected to my intuition, but stay connected to who I am and to be authentic and to be the best I can be, but to empower myself so I'm not doing all the rubbish that other people expect me to do or want me to do. I'm doing it my way. <laughs> Whether it's right or wrong to anyone else, it doesn't matter. And I know that when I'm connected to my intuition, life gets easier and I feel empowered. And I want other people to feel that way. And it's amazing that this message has come up this week because I'm going to plug my new book, Reclaim Your Intuition, a practical guide to live with intention, be in flow and feel empowered. That's actually the tagline. And that's what the message is this week. So if you want to empower yourself this week, if you want to start breaking the barriers and the bonds of doing all the things that people expect of you or having to do what you think you should be doing but you want to get more connected back to that inner voice that inner piece of you that has dreams and hopes and you want to tap into that again but you don't know how to do it you've lost it get my book please get my books it was written with you in mind i did an oracle reading for someone this morning and she said she's lost that inner connection and that's why we need to reclaim our intuition we need to claim it to feel empowered so have a look at your week ahead and just look and see what you're doing. How much is what you're doing for other people and are you enjoying it? Now, there are some things that we have to do for other people that we don't enjoy, enjoy doing, but we have a duty of care and so we do it. But when was the last time you empowered yourself to do something that you wanted to do? Tell me when. And if you can't remember, it is time to empower yourself. It's time to break free of conditioning. It's time to know what you want and take your actions towards getting it. So empowering yourself doesn't mean you ride roughshod over other people. No, it means you know what you want and you take your actions in a compassionate and appropriate way. And you have your boundaries and you can say compassionately no to those things that no longer serve you. So empowering isn't about making other people feel worse. It's about making sure that what you're doing empowers you. And can you explain to other people why you're saying no to them? Because you have the right to say no to do some things. Get yourself empowered. Get my book, find out where it is that you need, and then go do what you need to do. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Take care. Bye.